everybody, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about what things you need to shave down to be able to install the intercooler. All right, so uh, what you're gonna to wanna to use here is an oscillating tool. Uh, this one's cobalt, you can use whatever you feel uh, up to. This one's obviously a little bit more expensive, but completes the range of tools that I have. Uh, you can get these for as low as like $15 at Harbor Freight. It will do the job just fine. In fact, that's what I originally used on this car. So recommend that unit, it's plugged, you know, plugged in um, and it works just fine for this. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this oscillating tool um, and you're gonna use it to shave down these brackets, right? What these were, they originally were for the 2.0T to support the intercooler. And obviously they share, they share uh, and serve no purpose on the 3.8s. So what we're doing is we're shaving them down nice and level, nice and flat, so that therefore we can install the big intercooler for the 3.8 turbo, All right? So that's kind of what we're doing. So let me show you. You take it, you turn it on, it's going to get a little loud, and you just basically follow along the line, and you'll just shape off some plastic. I'll show you. Just like that. So that's exactly how you do it. And you can see it gets real nice and smooth. You can smooth it out get that, that piece down. You want to get it as flat as you can. Don't worry about yourself you know, getting it perfect, this is in the painting, but you want to just kind of get this stuff out of the way. Now, if you want to come and look over here, you can see here where the intercooler piping is going to go, right up through this channel. So right here, this normally sticks out. What you're going to want to do is take your oscillating tool again, and you're going to want to shave this down here at kind of a 45 degree angle, right, and cut that down. Once you do, when you cut that down, that'll allow you to get the intercooler piping in nice and easy. It'll be super easy, super smooth. So again, take that and just shave that, just like we did for the other pieces. Um, the other thing that you need to do, if we go back over to the passenger side, if you're still running the uh, fender liner from OEM, you're gonna need to make a notch. So normally it will sit like this. And obviously with it being up like this, it was gonna kind of interfere with where the pipe needs to go. The pipe kind of sits right underneath here and goes underneath this radiator um, uh, line, uh, line right here, hose right here. So it goes underneath and goes up. So what you wanna do is just kind of notch this using your same oscillating tool, notch it down, down to the flat part here and back up. And uh, we'll be able to get up right, on, uh, up right under here and go straight into uh, the rest of the intercooler piping. And that's really all you need to do. Um, also, we, we've talked about it a couple of times, but just in case we haven't covered it enough, you will need to remove the windshield washer fluid reservoir. Uh, in fact, in our next video, we're going to talk about what we're going to do to replace that. But you're going to need to move that, remove that one from the stock location. It's going to be hanging all down here. This is where your uh, actual your intake pipe is going to be for your turbo. That's where you need it. So you have to remove it from the location. So uh, again, as Moody had mentioned in another video, you can uh, remove or pull back the front clip a little bit, you possibly finagle it out. I didn't have all the patience for that, so I just cut it out using the oscillating tool. So again, it's a perfect, great tool. Cut that plastic out, that you're never gonna use it again. Um, and again, we have a replacement unit for you that goes against the back of the follow -on. So that is that video, just to kind of get you guys ready and, and up to speed on what you need to do to prepare for the uh, intercooler. Uh, one other thing too as well, if you're going to be using a, uh, an upgraded radiator, it's going to push the fan shroud out and you're going to have to make some fan, uh, some fan shroud modifications. And here's a video, uh, here's a picture of what you kind of need to do. And as you can see in the picture, um, the big thing that you need to do is really kind of around the edges, you need to shave them down back to like the, almost the, the regular uh, uh, height there for the lowest minimal height. Uh, you can see kind of what we're doing. We'll point it out there as well there in, in the picture. Um, also, if you're looking at the, if you want to keep the underbody plastics on, you want to make a little bit of a modification. You can see that also in this picture. Uh, basically, you're just, you're shaving off the uh, end there. Uh, it's not going to reduce the capability of mounting it to the car. It just makes it a lot easier to access the things that are underneath there. So. Again, that's all you really need to do. Again, the oscillating tool or a Dremel or whatever you've got, those kind of tools uh, are very, very helpful in trying to get this uh, modification done. All right, thanks. Next video.